Okay, so for scratch two, uh, we're going to look into resetting the frog. So whenever you hit the water or you get hit by a car, uh, or even when you start the game, uh, you want to start here on the green. Um, so we want to have it, every time we click, we want it to go to a certain position. So we'll bring this up for our X and Y. But before we do that, I actually just want to show you this. The number is right here, 21 and negative 138. Those are the coordinates where the frog is right now. If I were to move it, you see it populates right here. All right, so our X component left to right and our Y component up and down. All right, so 146 is about where we're gonna to wanna to be for our Y component. So we'll bring this up. And if we're 146 and we change exactly where we change the X on here, it's gonna make it move from side to side, but we're at 146 is always gonna be here as far as up and down. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna go into our operators and we wanna pick a random position for our X to be. So we start either way over here or way over on the other side. So uh, if I saw 46 was here, and even look at uh, my X and Y on this, this is negative 214. And way over here is probably about positive 214, right? 230. So we'll say pick random for this. So negative 2, we'll say 15. And then this value will be 2. All right, so now every time we click, our frog's going to start in a different X position, but the Y is always going to be that negative 146. All right, so that's going to pop up in other places after other events happen with the frog. If you get hit by a car, pick random between 215, negative 215 for X and Y 146. Same thing as if we get uh, to the water, we want to increase the score and have it jump back to here. So this command we'll see pop up in a few other places in our code. So... Um, Let's work on now getting the cars to drive uh, left and right on the uh, the roadbeds that we created right here. So I'm going to create a new sprite. I'm actually going to choose one if you want to build your own cars and buses, you can. But if you search car, you get a couple options here. I use this one to use the city bus. And we'll have that going. Um, I think I had it go from the left-hand side to the right-hand side uh, continuously at a uh, constant rate of speed. Uh, let's actually turn the size of this thing down. It's really big right now. We want it to fit in... Uh, in this lane. So we're going to make that, I think, 50% of the size. I might even want to go smaller than that. Let's go with uh, 40. All right. So it starts here and then it just starts driving. So we're going to want to say for when our flag is clicked, and this is going to repeat forever, we want it to go to this position right here. So as far off the screen as we can get it. We're actually going to add a little bit to this. So our X component is 197. Our Y component is negative 5. So we will say go to uh, X197. We're going to actually change that to um, negative 250 and Y negative 5. All right, and that's going to have to start actually back here. Let's see if we can cheat even a little bit more to get it off the screen so it looks like it's driving from way out on the other side. So we'll say 275. All right, that should be good enough. So now we want this thing to always go there, and then it has to glide across the screen and keep going back to this one uh, position. So we will say glide. Y isn't going to change negative 5, but this 269 will say positive 269. And it'll take one second to get there. All right, and as soon as it gets over here, it's going to jump back over to the other side. So we'll just need this one to here. All right, so it's gliding to that other position and then going back to the origin, and it's just going to fall into this forever loop right here. The reason I put this one up here at the top is wherever the game ended, uh, the bus is probably going to be in some random position, and then I have to go back to right here. All right, so we'll stop that. And I think one second is a little too fast. We'll try two seconds. Awesome. All right, so for the next cars we put in, I uh, probably want to have different ones. Again, if you go back to creating a new sprite, you can find them under cars. And you want them to go probably the opposite way on this. It's your game. If you want them to all come from the same side, you can. But one of the best things to do is to just change. Don't make two seconds the same for all of them, because then it's just going to be a consistent 
drive this way, drive that way. The way a car is normally going on the road is some are going faster, some are going slower, and that's what makes this thing look a little bit more authentic. All right, um, I can't say it enough times, it's your game. So if you wanted to have more lanes, less lanes, if you wanted to have some different things, you absolutely can. I don't encourage you to copy everything that I'm doing, but if you don't feel comfortable creating your own things, uh, you definitely can copy what I have here. All right, we'll get the other cars in, and then the next tutorial we'll talk about losing the game where the frog gets hit by the car or getting a score uh, up here in the blue.